support it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so we know we got the first two. Let's go to the next two. Type in the main idea when you have it. Everyone take a few more moments now. I want you to identify supportive details, supportive details. We know this is our main idea, student-centered. So in paraphrasing it, we'd start off with student-centered. What's a word that they use that, um, what's, a, what's a word that they use? They put in quotations what? Progressive. So words like progressive or traditional, okay? You have to include those in your summary. Those are coming directly from the text. You're restating something from the text. Okay, what else here? Any other words or phrases that stick out? I like this one right here. Yes, I think absolutely you'd want to talk about John Dewey. Uh, I think you could talk about the progressive era too. Let's see here. Um, maybe something on student-centered activities here. On students who are encouraged to learn through activities. Okay, so we'd be mentioning this paragraph three would be about student-centered activities. This was a progressive approach to learning. It involved taking into account the child's psycho uh, psychology. We could have a sentence on John Dewey and a connection to progressive. Yeah, you want to see if you can boil it down to three sentences, two or three. They're looking to see that you hit major ideas in each paragraph. Let's look at how they summarize this paragraph, paragraph three. Everyone take a moment. I want you to read over this summary. This is that same paragraph on the student-centered approach. And, and when we were doing it, we, we had highlighted progressive. We saw this child psychology. We thought about the Dewey. We thought about the progressive error. Something about this approach having to do with activities. And let's just look how many of those ideas are here. Student-centered. Um, does it mention child psychology? John Dewey? The progressive error? Activities? So look, in your summary, you want to make sure that you are stating things directly from the text that you found important. And by stating it, a grader can go in and they can look at your, your, your passage your, your, your two or three sentences, and they can be like, yep, 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 oh, yep, this is, all, this is all from the passage. John did a great job summarizing. They got some of these major points. You're not supposed to get everything, okay? But you're, you're supposed to pull from things that are in the passage. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.